Hello, I am Hannah and we are in a different room. This is my bedroom. So today I need to clear out my wardrobe. The last time I did this was over a year ago before we moved into this flat. We moved in about 11 months ago, almost a year and <clears throat> I've just acquired new clothes. I've bought a bunch of new stuff, but then also as an online person, influencer, whatever you like to call me. I sometimes get sent items of clothing from brands. So, hmm, we've got a lot to get through. And obviously I just thought that I would film this because I enjoy watching decluttering, tidying up videos, and maybe you will too. A few caveats, obviously not gonna get rid of the clothing that is on my body. There are a few items of clothing that just come out of the wash and they're on the drying line keeping those because obviously I wear them. If you're interested in how the clearing out of my wardrobe went down last year, you can watch that video here. There probably will be a lot of the same clothes as well because I hold on to things and wear them over and over again, which is how it should be. Nothing wrong with that. So I've got a big wardrobe here that you can't see and basically one entire section of that is mine. And this thing, that drawer is swimming stuff and sexy stuff, don't ask why they're in the same drawer. That's my socks, my underwear, Dan's underwear and socks. That is Dan's everything, my tops, my bottoms and sports wear, and then both of our jumpers and hoodies. We're kind of going to do a little bit Marie Kondo method. We're just going to get everything out on here and then look and feel and touch all of the items. Let's do it. I'm already exhausted. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we need to like organize properly, like actually put things in nice neat piles. Hmm. <laughs> right, it may not look more organized, but it is. It's in piles of Type of clothing. Let's do this. Charity shop, keeping. No in between. This pile is like short sleeved t shirts. Okay, so we have 19 t shirts. That is mental because, like, if I just wore jeans and a t shirt every day and a different t shirt every day, 19 days worth of clothing. That's ridiculous. Right, keeping you. Oh, see, this came up in the last video. It's a first aid kit t shirt from the first ever gig I went to of theirs like 10 years ago. Someone in the comments of that video was like, you should. Um, frame it because then I can keep the t-shirt without having to use it as an item of clothing. I haven't worn this in the entire year since that video. So we're gonna do an art project with this. We'll see when I get around to that art project pile there. This is a good one. I really love this top but actually realistically how often do you wear it Hannah? Also you don't own an iron so is it worth keeping? Let's go in though. This top is great but the hem on the neckline on one side it just doesn't like to fold down, it looks like it's been ripped. I take some <laughs> hair straighteners along it and like try and flatten it out, but it never works and it's just frustrating and so I never wear it. But, ooh, Lucy Moon Fingers Cross t-shirt. I really love this one. It's very well fitted and very nice feeling. Keep, keep, keep. This I love and always get lots of compliments on it. Keep, keep, keep. I don't know about this one. I've worn it a lot recently because it was gifted to me. And I like the shape and the cut of it. The sunglasses and La Vie en Rose, I'm like, Sorry. Oh, I love this. This was sent to me by Natalie Byrne. She is an illustrator. It's a chair with a period stain on it. I love it. Keeping that one. This I love. This I wear constantly. This, not really a fan of anymore. This is part of a two piece that I got as a hand-me-down from my sister, but it no longer fits me, and I think it would actually still fit her and she wants it back. So this is going back to my sister. Oh, see. This top I love so much and it is completely my style, my colours, but I think I'm just a bit too big for it now and the size for the arms, it just like rides up in my pits and I just get so sweaty in this. So, oh, thank you. Had that a long time. This is a piece of my merch, the lemons. When life gives you lemons, sell lemonade. So we started with 19. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine! Oh my god, we got rid of ten 
t-shirts, that's amazing. Not folding things the Marie Kondo way. I have my own way and it's fine. Et voila, one section done. Let's move on to this pile, trousers. My fancy black trousers, I love these. They're like for when I need to dress up smart and fancy but don't wanna wear a dress. These are a two piece, you saw the top half of that before. Absolutely keeping those. This is the bottom of the two piece that I'm giving back to my sister. I mean, obviously keep. Oh, these bad boys, wow. I used to wear these like constantly in winter and then like after my surgery, wore these all of the time. Do you know what? If I need to lounge, I'll wear pajamas. Those, goodbye. These, as summer trousers love. This thing goes on top of those trousers, but I've never really used it. Oh yeah, and then I've got my like three quarter length light denim mom jeans. Oh, I guess if we're doing long trousers, I also have two pairs of dungarees. I've got my Lucene Yak ones, obvs keeping. Gap plain denim dungarees, which I also love. And these are more winter dungarees and the Lucene Yak ones are more summer dungarees. Dungarees are very necessary. So we have two pairs of dungarees and five pairs of bottoms. Oh, should I just get rid of this? I literally do not need this. Me. Someone can use that as a nice, oh my God, maybe I'll use it as a nice headscarf. I've never done a headscarf for myself, bear with. I mean, is it cool or do I look like a doll? I'm keeping it in. Okay, next. Um, uh, shorts. We don't have many shorts, probably keeping them all. Yes, keeping them all. Denim shorts, stripy shorts, spotty shorts. That's all you need, right? Skirts, you can go. We've lived a life together. We have also lived a life together. I still really love you. I don't have that many skirts, but maybe I'm not really a skirt person anymore. Not a mini skirt person anymore, except for this one. I got this in the charity shop this year. Oh, I love it so much. It's definitely more of a winter skirt though, with tights, but I love it so much. The next dilemma. The same dilemma we had last year when it came to my like long midi skirts, cause I had like far too many of them and had to give one up. Do I have to give one up this time around? This is my newest edition, which was gifted by Posh Posh and it has pockets in it and it is incredible and I love it. Oh, what about the others? I love this one, but I, what? I don't even have any tops to go with it. I do actually, look, black, done. And also, this is gonna be a great Disney bounding skirt, so keeping this, and it's yellow. See, then we have the posh one. This is the one I wear the least. So maybe this is the one that goes. The only thing about this one is that the pocket is like completely ripped through. So hand in pocket, da 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 da. Hello! <laughs> this basically serves the same purpose as the other one and it is a tad too small for me. So it's only gonna be frustrating when I try and wear it. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm getting rid of that skirt. It's such an epic skirt. I think I got rid of four and we have left with five. So I would say that that is a success. We're being absolutely ruthless. Like if I have a shred of doubt or I haven't worn it in ages, it's going. Next, we've got some jumpsuits and play suits. This, I hadn't been wearing a lot recently and I love it. It is an absolute favorite, but in order to wear it, I need to wear a strapless bra. Although I did just do that, not wearing a bra for a week video. Basically, I was done with strapless bras. I was like, I'm over it. And so I put this at the back of the wardrobe being like, if I reach for it, then it means I love it and I'll keep it. But I never did, but only because I just did not want to wear a strapless bra. I just love it so much. I haven't worn it in over a year. So do I really love it that much? When in doubt, chuck it out. Bye -bye. This is a jumpsuit that I can only wear without a bra and I did on a red carpet. What other fancy events am I gonna go to where like I can have my tits out exhibit A? In like September, October time, it'll been a year since this event. Someone please invite me to your fancy event where I can wear this and have my boobies out. So this was kind of an Im impulse buy, but it was just like way too big for me. But I have had it altered so it fits me. And since then I've worn it a lot and it's a good staple, just like having a black jumpsuit to wear to a party. And then we've got two black play suits. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's like served its time and I've never really been an animal print person. I just got this in a charity shop and I was like, amazing, it fits. I haven't worn this in ages. This one, however, nice, soft material. Great, 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 love it, love it, love it. We got rid of two and we have three left. That's not so bad. What have we got next? We have tops. I already know I'm getting rid of this. We have two sparkly things. Again, this is one that needs to be worn with a strapless bra. Wore it originally for Buffer Festival, never worn it since. And then since then, I got this sequin crop top, which I can wear with a bra. I love it. We have the same dilemma as last time. It's all of the same clothes. Like my staples have not changed. This gray vest top, which I wear constantly, yellow crop top, and then my Hufflepuff tank top. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this thing. I love the color though. 
served me well. And then the other tank top is a grey Misfits one. The League of Legends team that Dan supports. This charity pile is getting big, it looks good. Next we're gonna do long sleeve tops. We live in England, wear long sleeve tops most of the time. I remember when I bought this, I felt so adult. I was in New York, great purchase but I don't really wear it anymore. And I think I'm a bit too big for it now. Like my boobs make the buttons pop out a little. Not great. Thank you, goodbye. This I love, keep, keep, keep. I love this so much in winter. It is so freaking soft. However, the sleeves are completely broken. Like there are two holes in the sleeves and I have no sewing skills, but I've worn this plenty that I can totally justify taking it to a tailor and getting them to fix that. Adding that to the pile of like, do something with it. Keeping because wear all the time. Like, do I wear it all the time? There's no such thing as a maybe pile, but there's a temporary maybe pile. We're just gonna go through everything else. I know it's yellow and I should probably keep it, but it's just really itchy. And so whenever I put it on, I just like hate myself. <laughs> Thank you, yellow tar. Oh, this green one. It was a fun choice, but no. This is just a plain long sleeve black top that I basically bought this year to go under some of my summer dresses. So my summer dresses could become winter dresses. Great purchase because it just makes my wardrobe a bit more versatile. This is the top that I was wearing in the last wardrobe clear out video and absolutely still wear it all the time. This I love. This is a new one from Joni Clothing. It was gifted. I can't wait until it gets colder so I can wear this again. I love it so much. I also love this. I think I'm going to keep this. I just love the color and the stripes. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two. It feels weird getting rid of clothes that like there's nothing wrong with them. They just feel a bit stale to you. Throwing these out. How many of those did I get rid of? Got rid of four. So technically that is my like top drawer all done. Over here we have like cardigans and jackets. This is another one of those items that I shoved at the back of my wardrobe being like, if you reach for it, then you can keep it. But if you don't reach for it, then get rid of it. And I have not reached for it. Stupid purchase. And then these are absolutely staying. I wear these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We're gonna do pajamas now. This that came in a goodie bag from a next event. It's great, but have I even worn it at all recently? Probably should just get rid of them. Oh, it's so nice though. I've got a girl's holiday coming up and I'm gonna have to like be respectable and not walk around naked. These are my winter chill out pajamas. My sister got them me for Christmas. It says Hannah on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people who make, promote Killing Eve sent me these, the pajamas that she wears at one point in season two. And they're a great prop, but they're just, Wait, hold on, Halloween. I just need to get myself a briefcase and some lollies. I have my Hogwarts pajamas. I love them so much. Actually, do you know what? These will make me respectable. This can go, I'm sorry, goodbye. My strawberry pajamas, I wear these all the time in the summer, hanging around the house. Oh, see, this is also super soft. This is another Lucy Moon item. Oh, it's so soft. Yes, this is a good like lounging tea. <laughs> I think this is an Instagram top. I think I got it at the in the Create Lounge at um, VidCon. I've never worn it. Goodbye. We got rid of some pajamas, not really that many. That's fine. Jumpers! I don't think there's gonna be many of these that I wanna get rid of because when winter does come along, this is like all I wear. <laughs> this is my uniform. Yes. Staying, love it. These are some new ones gifted by Joni Clothing. Hump Day, my podcast, Doing It, comes out every hump day, every Wednesday. Listen to it, subscribe where you get your podcasts. Joni also sent me this one, Avid Readers Club. This is one that I got from my friend Bethan because she was clearing out a bunch of her clothes. I love this, it's like completely oversized and brilliant. But does one person need three yellow jumpers? Maybe they do if that person is me. We've sacrificed some other yellow items today. So maybe I don't need to sacrifice these ones. These haven't even seen a British winter, so I feel like I should at least let them live a little, you know? This one has kind of served its time, can't believe I'm getting rid of it, but logic. New yellow jumpers are in town. This is a Patreon hoodie that they sent me that I probably won't wear. Sorry, Patreon. I love you. Please support me on Patreon. We call the community there the common room and we have a great time and you get early access to videos and podcasts and a reading list from me and private live streams and your name in credits at the end of videos. All from $3 a month. Do love Patreon, seriously, but don't need the jumper. We've got my it's Christmas, New Year season. Thin jumper thing, keeping, keeping, keeping. Oh, it's another Lucy Moon merch. It's so soft. I don't know what company she works with, but Oh boy, keeping that does mean that I'm gonna have two gray 
jumpers because I can't get rid of the Hufflepuff one. I'm keeping it. It sparks joy, God damn it! This bad boy. I get so many compliments on it every time I wear it and I love it so much. And I've had it for nine years or so, but it's so itchy. You just kind of have to wear something long sleeved underneath it, which I do have. It feels wrong to chuck it out. I got it when I was in Paris. I'm keeping it. When winter rolls around, I'll wear it. Right, workout clothes. A lot of Crohn's and colitis t-shirts because they keep giving them me at events and I obviously support Crohn's and colitis as someone with Crohn's and colitis but I do not need five t-shirts from the same charity. Let's actually keep the two that I wore for events. These I wore for running this morning. I impulse bought this two piece. Yes, 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 yes. 100% keeping these. I think these are the oldest black leggings that I have. Let's wait until we take stock of them all and then figure it out. My mum got me this for Christmas. This is like a proper running outdoor top. Yes, 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 very, very nice. Manchester City jersey. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my other sports team, Misfits jersey. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't worn these since having surgery. They're the kind of shorts that have like inbuilt underwear into them, but they're not high-waisted and I need high-waisted underwear when it comes to my Stoma. I'm actually just gonna pop them down here because I actually haven't tried them on. If they work with the stoma, I'm keeping them. If they don't, they're going. This is one of my compression vest tops. So this is a medical thing. Keep, keep, keep. Oh, this was gifted as part of a brand deal. It says flexing on it. It's not really me, but a lot of their other stuff I really love and I'm keeping. Like this one, for instance. I love these. These are like my go-to gray winter ones. And I did like basically the entirety of my surgery to 5K series in these. <sighs> I love these. I feel like it might be the end for them though. They're so knackered and worn. I've had them for years. And then we're gonna pick one of these to keep. They're going in the try on pile just to remind myself how they fit. Last but not least, the dresses. Right, let's actually count these because we had a dress problem last time and it's just good to know where we're at. 25 dresses. And the thing that is on top is my beautiful peacock dress that I think has been worn to two events. It has not been worn in over a year. And remember I said that I'm done with strapless bras. I think that means we have to say goodbye. Look how incredible it is. 100% gonna see this in the front window of my local charity shop. That feels wild that I'm getting rid of that already. You are 100% staying. I love you so, so very much. This is a dress that I just like associate with me and my brand, <laughs> but it's bad quality and it makes me sweaty and I haven't worn it in ages and I think I'm just more attached to the colors of it than actually how it looks and makes me feel. So I can't believe I'm getting rid of this dress. <laughs> These two summer dresses, this summer is their third summer. How good is that? Think about how many wears I've got out of them. And like, yeah, sure, bought them in H&M, fast fashion, but three years, still wearing them, still going strong. This dress looks great in photos. Always gets me all the likes on Instagram because of the boob thing, but it just doesn't fit. That's probably why I get so many likes. This was another item that I put at the back of my wardrobe and was like, if I reach for it, then I keep it. And I didn't, so goodbye. How many years going strong has this dress had? I think my sister got it me for my 22nd birthday, so five years going strong, going strong. This is another item that is going strong. Actually, is it going strong? Because the hook on the back is broken. It does make me sweaty and it does make my boobs look abnormally large. Time to say goodbye. Not going strong. I lied. This one is going strong though. This is one that is good for wearing that black long sleeved Top underneath. This is a great item. This has seen me through many, many years. Love it very much. Always comes out, always gets compliments. This one caused me a lot of grief last time round. And I did end up like wearing it again, maybe once or twice, but I haven't worn it or like reached for it at all this summer. And I think it's just cause it's just a bit too tight for me and I just don't want to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So goodbye. These are two of the dresses that you may have seen in my not wearing a bra for a week video. Also gifted by Posh Bosh. 100% keeping the cack to stress. This one I think I'm gonna give away. I'm not as big a fan of the pattern. I bought this specifically for like a 1940s night out that was going on with some friends from a charity shop, but I didn't wanna buy something that I would only wear once. I wanted something that could be 1940s and I would like wear normally. And so that's what this was. And I do wear it normally and I love it. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I've been thinking about this 
and doing this wardrobe clear up for so long and I knew I would get to these two dresses. They were both gifted, I couldn't pick a colour, so it's the same dress from Joni Clothing in yellow and red and I've worn them both so many times. I even got them adjusted because I'm really short and so I got the straps adjusted so that they would like fit me properly. But here's the thing, on big boobs this top bit doesn't work because it's very restrictive, there's no like elasticity, so it just kind of like holds my boobs down and like makes it all very square and I just I don't think it is very flattering even though I love them both very much we had a good run so I actually think I'm gonna get rid of both of them it's fine it's fine <gasps> oh my god goodbye ah! so this down here is the pile of clothes I'm getting rid of that is going to charity that is a lot of clothes oh wait we need to count how many dresses are left over how many dresses did I have 25 it was 25 one two three you hear that? 10 dresses. I just got rid of 15 dresses. Guys, this is a good day. Thank you so much for watching this video and holding me accountable to not hoarding lots of unnecessary clothing and being better. I feel like it's good like at least once a year to like do this to my wardrobe because you just realize how much crap you just accumulated. It's good to kind of like face the facts of like, hmm, you didn't need that thing, that was a bad decision. And hopefully be better in the future when it comes to clothes and shopping. I'm super keen to learn more about sustainable fashion. For now, my main tactics are like, if I do buy something fast fashion, then it has to be something that I will like wear over and over and over again. And I buy stuff in charity shops. That is kind of like my main avenue right now. The one avenue that I'm not exploring all that much and want to know more about is actual sustainable, ethical clothing brands. So if you know of any, please do let me know in the comments because I just, I feel like I just need a bit more variety of like where I can go shop because I'm just like, oh, ASOS, great. But if I knew about some companies out there, then that would be great. So please do my research for me, thanks. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one, bye.